Jesus, we worship and we praise your name. I am Evangelist Barnetta Gray, Wilborn National Evangelist, and I am the Southeast Region Director of Missions. I work with the Church of God in Christ um, Missions Department under Bishop Vincent Matthew. And on the last day of our women's convention this year, matter of fact, Thursday evening, when the hurricane hit Asheville, I was talking with um, First Lady Gates and First Lady um, Quick. And they were telling me that they could not get in and they could not, um, the storm had hit. And being a missions worker, I've served in 20, over 20 countries. I've been on every continent except Antarctica. And when they said that they had trouble in Asheville, well, my mission's mind started working. And I was able, under the direction and the uh, permission of Bishop Patrick Lane Wooden, he gave me permission to go to work. And we pulled together the Asheville Initiative. In that initiative, we've uh, already given something of uh, fifteen thousand dollars. We have provided uh, diapers. Uh, we've provided food, non-perishable food, over a ton of food already. Water uh, on a combination uh, with um, our first administrator Stone. He uh, took water to Asheville. And donations are readily, steadily coming in. Uh, we are on our way back to Asheville on Monday morning at 2 a.m. with another two tons of non-perishable food items, paper towels, uh, adult diapers, cleaning um, products, and everything that you need to uh, function on a daily basis because of the uh, the intensity of the storm that caused them not to have lights that put out their water we were able financially through the leadership and permission of the wooden solid Patrick Lane Wooden who had given us not only the verbal support but the financial support to go in and do what need to be done. Now I told you 15,000, but the money is yet coming cause I'm going back today and get another $3,000 that will allow us to be able to finish the accomplishment on Monday. And the monies are yet coming in. And so we praise God that we were able under the leadership of Patrick, Patrick Lane Wooden gave us permission to do the work of the Lord. God bless you. Come on, let us stand and give God praise for this mighty, mighty man of God who displays the hand, the heart, and the ears of God. We thank him. Amen. Hallelujah. What a phenomenal leader that we have. Praise God. Thank you for helping me do that. You know, praise the Lord, saints. I just want to, uh, just for a few moments, just really disclose our thankfulness and our gratefulness of what our bishop has done. Even from the onset of uh, Hurricane Helene, Bishop and First Lady Wooden took time to house my wife, my sister-in-law, and my niece here on the onset of the storm. And he said, don't worry about them. They are safe. And I thank God for Bishop being able to do that. And in the midst of that, Bishop began to speak to me and said that we got you, that we're here to support you, that we're here to help you through this time and this, amen, this devastation that was taking place. What a wonderful encouragement to hear that from our leader. And I thank God for him. And then as Bishop began to speak, he spoke to the administrator assistants and all the superintendent. As a man, Evangelist Wilborn have shared that Superintendent Stone and some of the men came up with waters and other supplies. And I tell you, it was a blessing, amen, for them to travel up, amen, and bring supplies, amen. And that was a blessing unto us, the church, and the community. I praise God. And then hearing from other administrator assistants, 
as a superintendent Nichols and Therrington and Leak Rowland and, you know, the jurisdictional secretary that have gave, amen, out of their substance, amen, not just financial needs, amen, financial needs, but they gave through prayer and support, amen. So I heard from the, uh, uh, the administrative staff, amen, the chief of staff and all these administration, come on, give God a hand, praise for them, because they were following the lead of their leader. They were following the lead and they were on board. And I just thank God, hallelujah, for the donations and the calls that came forth. And as Evangelist Wilborn uh, uh, shared with you, she went to work, amen, representing the, amen, Kojic Missions. And as they, as they were, uh, represented Kojic, Kojic Missions, her and Evangelist, uh, uh, Evangelist Murray and uh, uh, Elder Carl Reese came up in a time of need with a truck full of supplies, life-sustaining materials to be able to help us. And not just the church, under the direction of our wonderful leader, not just the church, but it was helping communities and other churches, amen, that we had supplies. And so I am so grateful and blessed of what Bishop, amen, was doing. They came up with much supplies. I want to thank Bishop, amen, because he knew this. He knew the people, they were out of jobs. They weren't able to sustain their homes, wasn't able to live in their homes, didn't have no water, didn't have no food. They had to empty out their refrigerator and didn't have no lights. And then they couldn't pay their bills. Bishop, with his heart, he said, let us lift the load for you in the church. And I want to tell you, Bishop took time to say, look, we're going to help you in the church by, amen, helping us pay our mortgage toward the rest of the year. Oh, somebody need to give God praise. This is the type of Bishop. He lifted the load and the people were happy. And the people celebrated because what he did Bishop said, look, we got mission work overseas, but our mission now is on Asheville. Come on, y'all better help me praise God. And so we thank God for being the recipient of not just for Greater Works Church, but we've been giving out to other churches, help supplying other churches, and thank God for the work and the giving. For the $15,000 that, amen, under direction of Bishop, you gave by your heart. We want to say thank you. We thank NC Third and Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Bishop, under his direction, got in touch. He was in call with me, and he kept reaching out to national missions leaders. From Bishop Matthew and through all the other leaders, he began to reach out to them. And they reached out. Don't you know, they sent, as of Wednesday, a, tw a man, a 53-footer truck with 24 pallets of items. Come on, give God praise. And these items help the adjacent to low-income communities. That came and was supplied. They needed diapers. They needed supplies for their baby. And look at here, 24 pallets of supplies that was given. And they were so grateful. And the, the Asheville Chamber of Commerce, the, uh, the city council said, who sent this truck? I said, my bishop. Under that man called Kojic Mission. And they relinquished a truck that helped not just greater works, but the Asheville community, that is the type of bishop that we have. My God. My God. They were impressed. Even one of the councilwomen said, I got to go look him up. The person from the Asheville Chamber of Conference said, we got to see who this is. That was their word to me. So I just want to say thank you. We have a few that came up with us on the van 
others, amen, we're still dealing with some family issues. But So greater works, amen, for those who are here. Let us just stand. And on behalf of myself, First Lady Gates, and the Greater Works Church of God and Christ family, representing Asheville, North Carolina, let us, amen, help us give God a praise.